Hello, Kangana ji. Hello. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. So, Chandramukhi too. Like, uh, even you have said, like, no, out of interest, you yourself asked a character <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to play in the movie. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. This is first time for me to mm. do that. I always feel that, uh, you know, anything that belongs to us, it it comes to us on, on its own and uh, things that don't aren't meant for us, you know, we, they will never happen. But it was such a lovely coincidence that uh, I met Sir for, um, for, for another film narration and I myself said, I, I said, Sir, I'll do this film, but why not Chandramukhi? You know, why can't you take me in Chandramukhi? Mm -hmm. So he was a little surprised. He said, you won't do it. I said, yeah, why not? He's like, because we didn't think about you because the uh, Chandramukhi only comes in the second half. Mm -hmm. You know, the first half she's not, I'm mean, only the noise is there, like Gunguru or some yeah, kind of yeah. a noise is there. I said, that's fine with me. You know, I don't have to be in every frame, but I want to be a part of such a great, iconic uh, uh, franchisee. And uh, so he said, okay, then why not? Come on board. He was very happy to have me. Yeah. But uh, I just want to know like, what made you so interested in this project? You know, to ask a character or uh, as you said earlier, it just start from the second half. Yeah, you know, uh, lately after uh, Queen, because Queen has been such a big success, yeah. most of my films revolved around woman empowerment or empowering characters, um, you know, and uh, biopics and all of that. Um, and there's been a, a dearth of, uh, um, of f fun film entertainers and which are like, uh, like, like quintessential Indian Pesa Vasool entertainers, you know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so I wanted to be a part of such a film. And uh, like I said, you know, as much uh, a film that work on social uh, you know, kind of reforms and all of that are very essential, like feminism or woman empowerment. They're all very important. But at the same time, we've also grown up seeing films like Chandramukhi or Mr. India or all of that, you know. So um, they have been a very part of, like an eight-year-old will not understand feminism. They will not understand nationalism. They don't understand, uh, you know, loss or gain or, you know, uh, anything. They just want to have fun. For them, there is a baddie and there is a goodie and they fight and, you know, it's just, and that made our childhood, like a, like a, like a Chandramukhi or Mr. India, made our childhood so much more uh, enriching, you know. Uh, the same way I, I felt that I, I do not have those many films now in my filmography which are catering to children. Um, so that was the reason, the primary reason. Okay, fine. And uh, so uh, before in the Chandramukhi part one, we have seen like the possessed by Chandramukhi character, Jyotika Man's character. But here we are directly seeing the Chandramukhi, which is you. Yeah. So uh, the scary levels uh, will be, uh, <laughs> as I'm expecting, uh, definitely much higher. What do you want to say about that? <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. See, with the sequel, you, if you don't go notch higher or, or you know, double uh, the higher with the, all the elements, it's it's underwhelming. And I think we have such a capable director, you know, such an incredible person and a director. He understands that. He understands the pulse of the audiences that you've got to double up because it's part two. Yeah. And uh, he has done that. So uh, not to kill the excitement and all this. So there is more than one ghost in the film this time. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> it's double the fun. It's not just part two. It's double of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, what's the difference between the South film industry and the North film industry, which you have noticed as you have worked in uh, both the sides? Mm -hmm. mm, well, essentially, I, I feel that um, South films are, uh, uh, you know, uh, more intimate, as in, as in it has um, intimate with the the emotional. Uh, needs of the audiences and they, they tend to uh, engage on that level with the audiences and uh, and I think it is also very sensitive to uh, the the local flavor and uh, you know uh, and uh, and uh, like for example Pushpa being a laborer you know like we don't have a character of a laborer in, in Bollywood movies. I don't think even they are even capable of perceiving or conceiving a character of a, of a laborer. 
you know. So, so that's what I mean. Like they are very sensitive to audiences' emotional uh, needs and you know requirements, and their their inherent need to see their own uh, lives on on screen. Whereas uh, Hindi film industry lately, not in earlier generations, seems too westernized. Mm. Yes, like for example, I didn't know English when I. Yeah. when i started out and i was everybody was speaking in english there so i and, had to uh, i actually has to uh, say it in front of you like i follow you very much i didn't even say it before the interview like i adore you a lot i uh, often see all of your interviews and i've seen that uh, people uh, so called even bollywood biggies made fun of your english yes, yes. so because they're so westernized mm. whereas i see in uh, in tamil films when i work there's so many so many people don't speak english yeah and that's quite okay um so that's that's the difference so now the, we see that full command over english <laughs> so uh, was that a reason like people making fun of your command over the english or did you yourself you thought like no i have to no, learn think, everything no of course it's always useful and i also would want to learn tamil and telugu but it doesn't have it doesn't have to happen in a rude way that's what i mean like otherwise i think it's good that i can today communicate even with you is thanks to i mean the fact that i made an effort and i could do it um uh, it's always good to learn a language but all i'm saying is that uh, the amount of judgments were passed on me and all that so yeah uh, just recently i've mentioned about the pushpa movie yes <laughs> so when i asked the difference between the north and south movie industry so did you uh, love the movie did you love the character of pushpa oh yes i absolutely loved it and uh, and you know i mean i i love alu arjun's work and uh, he was so flamboyant in the film and he was just so uh, confident and i uh, and as uh, um i mean as a coincidence i just met him this morning at the airport oh, wow. yes okay. so we were both coming to hyderabad um and uh, i think uh, he's such an incredible actor and i'm not surprised that he got national awards award for that performance and great and the the recent telugu movie which you have watched and you are like spellbound with the any telugu movie particular like you felt wow i think rrr that's Triple a pan okay. india yeah, film yeah, the, yeah. um but uh, but but that one i i i think i'm in awe of raja mali sir and i've i've also made a video about it how i felt after watching it and uh, i'm a big fan of ram charan sir and uh, you know ntr sir i'm i'm a big fan uh, and and of course mm kirwani sir who's in our film as well what a yeah. you know it's such a um, a landmark moment for me in my career to be working with an academy award artist so ma'am uh, what made you, you know to speak so deliberately that we all know you are very uh, outspoken person a dynamic lady uh, you know, standing to all the odds you have stand separately like you have been vocal on uh, all the issues be it like any bollywood or uh, nepotism or uh, any issues uh, have you ever got that any that le- little fear sense in you ever in this all the circumstances <laughs> mm, um, well i don't operate from the place of fear that is quite evident i i suppose we all have fears in us you know yeah. we all have all kind of doubts fears courage uh, confidence a sense of uh, truth or you know inadequacy at times even that but i don't operate from the place of fear i operate from the place of um you know strength uh, con- confidence yeah. strength you know what i believe in and i uh, i'm also not very uh, sensitive to criticism i am also very open to criticism so um, and i think that's how it should be everybody should be open to criticism when i criticize somebody or some practice it is not to ridicule or make somebody feel small but however it is always uh, perceived in that notion but i i often feel very comfortable with criticism and and because of that you know i learned english i could style myself i improved my performance i have become a better person with time is because i am open to criticism and uh, 
and somehow people are so sensitive to it. It always, you know, uh, it, it takes. I'm taken aback by that kind of a reaction from people, but but deep down, the the intention is not to 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 make anybody feel bad. In fact, it is only to to come up and come out as as better and stronger people for all of us. Yeah, fine. It's like uh, beside movies, even in politics also you've uh, made your statement you've been vocal uh, and i can see the scenario actually now we are uh, traveling and shooting all with the bodyguards and everything the extra security <laughs> so how is this ma'am oh i don't know i just um it is something that uh, uh, something that has uh, unfortunately the situation has come up like this otherwise no would want no one would want to be uh, you know not free in their own country but uh, sometimes like i said people behave so overtly sensitive and there are death threats and especially i am working on a film called emergency where we have um, where we have many uh, many uh, uh, historic events like lok movements or operation blue star or things like that where um, where it is you know i have i have got some really serious threats so in what that what were the uh, what were the threats like um i had spoken about uh, you know khalist against khalistani movements and yeah. and and based on that i have i had got some serious threats so for that i have the security but um, but um but it is not something that you know i i i would want to have or i appreciate Uh, because i i'm just like another woman i would want to have my freedom and i would want to uh, have you know a, a, a very um, understated presence uh, but uh, but it is what it is even that was your choice right? emergency movie like you are the director yes, of yes yes i i wanted to direct it and i directed it and hopefully after the film has come out and people will know that how 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 fair it is to everybody to every community to every party and to mrs gandhi herself i will not have this security anymore and i will be able to be roam around freely free. the, the okay. way i did before this okay fine man so uh, when can we see you in politics active well, politics <laughs> yeah that that question you should ask the presidents of the parties <laughs> not me uh, well let's see let's see how things go for in 2024 okay bye Thank you so much and we wish Thank all the very best. Thank you.